Hello and welcome to Life at the Laundry Garden. Well, we are almost at the end of lifting all the dahlias. I've got these to take out of the trough and then just a few more in the garden. And then it's a case of packing them away for the winter, which I'll show you another time. We've also had our second frost, which is just what the garden needs. And we've already made a start on planting the tulips. But today, I'm gonna do something a bit different. I'd like to show you things that you don't need to be doing in the garden right now, because sometimes there's a little bit of confusion. Should I do this? Should I do that? So hopefully I will help guide you on a few things that you can look at and think, I don't need to do that just yet. So come on, let me show you. There's one thing we really don't need to be doing right now. Some people do, and that is cutting the lawn. It still does grow, but it slows right down at this time of year. And also, if you're running up and down a wet lawn or a frosted lawn, it's not going to make it look very nice. If anything, you'll get ruts in it. And also, if you've had a frost, it could actually turn some of the lawn a little bit brown, which is a little bit unsightly if you look at it all the time. So put your mowers away for the winter and enjoy the lawn for what it looks like now, especially on a frosty morning when it glistens in that beautiful sunlight. There are also certain parts of the garden that I will not be touching through this winter. And this is one of them. This section of the garden where the dragon is was deliberately planted for a later show. So we've got grasses in here, we've got sedums, we've got the persicaria, everything that gives you that really good, full, interesting, colourful look in the later months of the year. Now, when you plant plants that are going to have a later show, you really don't need to be cutting them back until early spring. So around, say, March time. That includes grasses as well. So no need to do this section either. Hydrangeas. These are Hydrangea Annabelle. And we don't want to be cutting these back at all until at least March, April time. So we just need to enjoy them for what they are at the moment. To me, I think the brownness of them is very structural and beautiful. And on a frosty morning, they can look amazing. So there are so many things that you really don't need to be doing right now. Inside the wall garden, I have this rose glauca here and a couple of buddleias. Now the beauty of this particular rose is that it has these beautiful sort of 
pinky reddy stems in the winter months that sometimes just have a light tinge of white running through them and it looks incredible on a frosty morning or just as a beautiful structured plant and I leave this to just do its thing through the winter months and not touch it at all. Just beyond the rose glauca, I have a buddleia here and another one just here. Now again, these are slightly later flowering shrubs and really do not need touching at all through the winter months. In fact, I don't really cut these back until around March time. So don't start worrying, I know March is a busy month but it's also nice to think that you don't need to be doing this right now. Just enjoy it for its structure. And one more plant that really does not need any attention at this time of year, and that is the salvia. This one is, you can just about see some of the flowers on it that have been frosted. This is Salvia Bethlehi, so I'm told by the lady who gave it to me. And again, it's a later flowering. There's a pattern here, isn't there? So anything that's a later flowering perennial in the garden, leave it and come back to it around March, April time. that's about it from me but just before I go there's a few things I just want to mention to you today launches our brand new website the laundry garden I would absolutely love you to pop over and read a bit more about us and about the garden and what goes on here and who helps us full of information you can also sign up to our newsletter which will be packed full of really lovely things for you a few, well, I'll let you have a look for yourself. I will pop the link to the website in my description and I would love you to call by and say hello. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.